And we're back with some more RimWorld. Uh, the last episode, Anita went off to acquire an Arcotech leg, and now, on the way back, she's gotten ambushed uh, by Melissa. Hello, Melissa. You are going to have a bad day, Melissa. You picked the wrong place to start a fight in. Uh, let's see. Oh, assault rifle. I don't have them equipped with the uh, sniper rifle this time around. Shouldn't make a difference. Yeah. If they get into co close combat range, I will be very, very, very surprised. Damn. Yeah, done and dusted. With that incident taken care of, we're right back uh, on our way home. And in the meantime, I want to do some cleaning up around here. Well, I do have to build another room. The reason being, I did acquire that uh, Wanderer Joins colonist, so I need them to come in and replace that. Once that's done, though, hmm, I think it's time we specialized everyone and started, yeah, say, specialize some people in farming, cooking, etc., and just start uh, bunkering in for doing an awful lot of research and several um, construction projects. The caravan has finally made it back. Where is it? And uh, where are the animals? Yeah, let me show you a quick trick with these pack animals because this used to annoy me. They've got all this gear on them. I didn't sell off the leathers I didn't need to because I could afford to keep them. There's some things I kept that uh, I could afford to... No, that I could afford to keep. I can turn these into uh, coats and things that I can sell for more money. However, they're now loaded up with a bunch of equipment and my pawns are going to have to go out and remove them one at a time and manually bring them back to the storage area. Unless we say grab a, a storage area, animals, own harvest animals... Yeah, second safe zone. Where was that? I had a second one. Yep, yeah. we'll get rid of you. We don't need you anymore. So we'll get rid of the second safe zone and instead we'll make a second safe zone right in here. Say right about there. Then we'll tell all of those animals, the pack animals, the muffalos, and we'll say, I want you to go to the second safe zone. All the pack animals will end up in there. And once they get in there, what you can do is just uh, select one of the muffalos, hit gear, and then... Why don't you just drop all that stuff right inside the storage area? Saving my pawns all the time of going around and finding it. It just... Uh, yeah, sometimes when unloading these things, this just seems like it is the simplest way to do it. And then you can set the animals back to free roam after that. Done. That's an entire caravan unloaded with minimal effort. Just one of those little tricks I picked up along the way that I'm really enjoying getting used to. Next up from Randy, we get a caravan request. Uh, they want... A bunch of bowler hats in exchange for a bionic arm and some pigskin pants. I don't really care. That's not worth it. The Alliance of Sow. Goodwill plus 39. How am I? Hmm. You know what? Let's find out. What's my uh, relationship with them? Alliance of Sow. Neutral. You know what? I'd like to keep some enemies. Uh, preferably the Savage Tribes would be really good enemies. Gentle Tribe. Yeah, I don't want to have... I'd prefer to make an enemy of that tribe just so that they attack me. I'd like these three to be attacking me, because the less of these that attack you, the more likely I am to be attacked by mechanoids, which are much tougher and more annoying to deal with. Don't bring as much, you know, new recruits for me to handle. Okay, why is that... Oh, heat wave. Why is everyone on such low mood? Oh, my brother died. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Uh, disturbed sleeping... Ah, unsightly environment. Observed rotting corpse. Oh, I forgot to clean out the corpse area, didn't I? I think it's time for me to get some... Uh, some Molotovs and dispose of that problem. But first off, heat wave. Oh, buggery. Okay. You know what? We have plenty of wood I've just harvested, so we're going to use some ghetto heat wave cooling right now before we upgrade our power. And for that reason, we'll just go temperature and we'll grab some of these passive coolers. These things are dirt cheap. All they cost is wood. That's it. So put four of them in there. That'll stop that. I might have to put in another uh, cooler. Let's see how the coolers handle the temperature. If it starts to go above the uh, minus zero mark, as in the freezer's not working, we may have to change that. Oh, and we finally managed to get rid of all the tainted apparel. Perfect, we will disable that. Uh, don't want it anymore. Anyway, uh, let's skip this forward and see how well our, uh, our colony holds up to a heat wave. Before we even have time to get to the end of the day, it's a rare thrombo. A small herd. A small herd being two? Hmm... You know, they are quite valuable. Though these ones are... Oh, that one's full healthy at 550 movement speed. Yeah, also 550 movement speed. Which reminds me, I haven't installed Anita's leg. What have I been thinking? Anita, it's time for you to get a new leg. Uh, what's the hospital like? Hospital is spotless. You know what? Let's queue that up now and get you a new, uh, some new legs going on. Uh -huh. Install Arcotech right leg. And let's make sure that the only people who can do it are dog's body. I want my best doctor on this. 
Oh, and as well as that, uh, let's make sure you've got access to the best medicine. We have some glitter world medicine. Though, honestly, we could get by with just regular medicine. But glitter world medicine, why not? We've got it there. Let's make sure our odds are as good as possible. Uh, where's Dog's body? Uh, oh, Dog's body's feeding the prisoner. Anyway, we'll skip forward till morning. Well, we should be good. The temperature hasn't gotten above 31. For a heat wave, that's actually not that bad. Though I might have to install a third cooler unit in here just in case this gets worse. Next up from Randy is some cargo pods. Uh, let's have a quick see what's in them. Oh, medicine. Yeah, we'll take that. Randy seems to be sending me a lot of medicine recently. Not going to complain. Meteor? Okay, we'll take it. What is it? Limestone. Okay, we'll we'll take that too. Thanks, Randy. Um, See if Randy does anything else. No? No? Okay, we'll wait till morning then. Uh, Anita's operation is queued up. We have a nice clean hospital room, a hospital bed, and everything went perfectly. Two Arcotech legs. Excellent. She's going to be incredibly fast. Hey, um, with all that done, I've been doing some fiddling around with the work priorities. I need to set up the picture for the moment, but she'll be doing most of the research. Uh, Diggity here is going to be doing the mining, but also the hunting. The reason being, they have very weak shooting skills. I'm going to get them to do a bunch of hunting because, well, I need them to up their shooting skills. I don't want them wandering around being bad at hunting. Uh, which reminds me, who's got the sniper rifle that's not Anita? Anita gets to keep hers. Ooh, and i got to arm those last two as well. Next up from Randy, we have a bandit camp quest. Uh, five enemies. AI Persona Core. Hmm. Damn. Okay. You... You Banium? Who the hell are you Banium? You know, let's find out where this place is. Ooh, that's quite close by. Mm, that might be worthwhile. Uh, factions. Do we care about the Banium? We do actually like those because they're, um... There's two different types of tribes you can face off against. There's the tribe tribes, which are just savages who send in large quantities of uh, pawns equipped with bows, arrows, spears, you know, tribalists. Then these two, they're the more modern version, so they can come with much better weapons and armor. I prefer to make friends with these two. So doing this mission will help you make friends with the Urbanium a bit more. And gives me an AI Persona Core, which, honestly, I have no intention of leaving this planet anytime soon, but it would be nice to sell. I presume someone will buy it, right? Let's hope someone will bet. We'll wait till Anita's back up and running. You know what? Anita is back up and running. What's her speed like? 6.9. Okay. Uh, I think it's time that maybe she went hunting those... Uh, where were they? Those giant big white thrombos. Let's go grab one of these. Uh, there's two of them. This is going to be stupidly dangerous, but uh, why not? Anita is now in rifle range. Yeah, let's see how many shots it takes to uh, mad manhunter the uh, thrombos. Okay, this might take a little bit. Sometimes they're going to wander out of range. But uh, hopefully I can get at least a few shots off before they become maddened manhunters. Oh, come on. Seriously? Stop just drifting out of range. That's just mean. Okay, now you're in range. Uh, I've assigned all my animals into their little safe zone. I don't want any of them messing with the doors. Otherwise, that would become an annoyance. Uh, my pawns, when the time comes, I'm going to lock them all inside. I want to make sure they go through my traps. If they go through my traps, I have a chance of killing both of these with minimal effort. If they don't go through my traps, well, yeah, I'm, I'm probably dead, so let's be really careful. Oh, let's switch up to the other one as well. Yeah, okay, I'll skip this forward until the Manhunter bit kicks in. Well, looks like it's gone Maddened Manhunter. Uh, has both of them or just one? Oh, just one of them's gone Manhunter. The other one... The other one is just going to stay out of it. That's... Okay, fine by me. Oh, where are you two going? No, 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 you're going to stay indoors. You know what? Everyone is going to stay indoors. The whole lot of you are going to get drafted, and you're going to stay out of the way. Oh, it's finally dropped. It didn't make it all the way through. That's, that's good. Eh, excellent. Then that means everyone can go back to work. Hey, everyone. We'll take care of the other thrombo later. That one's actually bleeding, I think, last I checked. But no immediate danger. We'll have to get a few more shots off on that one. Perfect. One thrombo assigned. Fire. Why is there fire? Okay. In that case, we will draft and draft everyone, and they should immediately jump on that. Oh, Psychic Soothe. Perfect. Oh, and one thing I do need to take care of, I need to destroy these corpses. They're giving a debuff to my colonists. I forgot to uh, torch them, or torch the uh, the corpses over there, so they're causing a, a problem. Oh, animals, and my animals, I can now unrestrict them to let them go roam. I'll take care of the second thrombo later, though. Jesus. It's kind of lucky that only one of them came through. If two of them came, had to came through, that would have been a lot tougher. Those things take a hell of a pounding. Because everything was going along so nicely, Anita and his diggity decided to punch the faces off each other. Which, yeah, that, that's just great. Thanks very much for that, guys. 
<laughs> Freaking morons. Ah, uh, dogs, buddy. Okay, you can use the good medicine on Anita. Diggity, you started the fight? Yeah, if you check under social, Diggity insulted Anita. So, uh, yeah, Diggity, you can just go with herbal medicine. You'll be fine. Let's see how the health's looking. Yeah, they should be back up and running in no time. Still, that's an annoyance. It just takes two people out of the... out of rot rotation, and... Like, for no reason. This game just loves to hurt you. And anyway, I heard that thrombo go. Oh no, did it wander off? Oh, never mind, I have no chance to get it now, now that Anita's down and out. So instead, we'll send someone out else out hunting, I think. Oh wait, Diggity was my other hunter. Okay. Yep, never mind. We'll leave the hunting until Diggity's back up and running. The Muppet. <laughs> uh, let's skip this forward a bit and see what else Randy's got in store for us today. Next up from Randy, we've got a disease. Anita is sick. Infection in the left shoulder. Yep, that's that's great. Uh, thank you, Randy. You're too kind. Uh, infection, minor. Yeah, we'll get her some good t good medical care and she should be fine. I'm using all the bitter world medicine on her because she is my best shooter. I'd rather have her up and running as soon as possible just in case anything does go wrong. Uh, in the background here, I have been planting some heel root in th these sections and in these ones I'm planting hay grass. Uh, the reason for hay grass is to do with animals and I've been observing how long it takes to work with them. Uh, for example, I have one pawn here. Who is it? I believe it's uh, White. Yeah, Recruiter White. Their job is to go around and tame the animals and keep them tamed. And every animal has a tameness section. Where is it? Here it is. Tameness. That starts to degrade over time. For example, this one's down at four or five, so White's going to have to go over and try a taming attempt on that animal. This takes time, especially when I'm letting them roam the whole map to collect food. That means... White could end up running over here to tame one animal, running back to base to get more food, running out over here. It effectively takes up their entire day. They get nothing else done. So it might require less effort to just grow hay grass, confine them to a small area, and feed them with hay grass. Uh, that's one thing I want to experiment with, because it seems having them run wild, while it does cost you very little food, it does cost you an awful lot of uh, time and manpower. Tiggity is fully healed. How are you... Well, okay, so Diggity came off the best of that engagement. I suppose Diggity must be a brawler, are they? Ah, Malieve 10. Anita. Wait. Oh. Anita has Malieve 5. Yeah, that would explain why she came off the worst of it. Oh, also, infection. How's that coming along? Oh. Mega Sloth Revenge. Who's that? Oh, that's Diggity. Wow, this seems very apt. Oh, crud. Diggity can't run very fast, can he? Ooh. You know, should we run immediately or should we risk this next shot? I say we risk it. That should hopefully slow them down enough for Diggity to leg it. Like, really, really leg it. Run, run, don't stop. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, just keep moving. Uh, we'll have to get someone else to help out. Uh, who else has got a gun and is close by? Kai, you've got a, you've got a plasma rifle. Oh, actually, you know what? We have some traps down here that we can use. The traps will help out immensely. One more round. And run. Oh, no, it missed the traps. It missed the traps. <laughs> okay, I got greedy. I admit it, I got really greedy. Actually, it's slow enough. I might just, yeah. Okay, that worked out. It was slow enough that I was actually able to get it in the end. Whew. It takes a lot of shooting to bring one of those suckers down. Anyway, we've got, uh, I think there's one more left. Yeah, we'll let Diggity take care of that. If they get a bit inj injured hunting Mega Sloth, who cares? <laughs> it's only Diggity. They just caused a fight with one of our best uh, pawns. Anyway, uh, oh yes, uh, so I'm going to grow a bunch of uh, hay and see if I can't keep all my animals confined to one spot and just feed them on the food that I keep about the place. Will it work? No idea. Do I want to try it? Yes, I do. Diggity's been getting into more trouble again. He's uh, managed to annoy another Mega Sloth. Good job, Diggity. Uh, we'll uh, we'll take over from here. Same thing again. I'll just run them away and kite this a bit. I really do like the camera model. It allows me to zoom out so far. So even though they do become dots, it does make it handier to strategically position your, your pawns. Anyway, um, Mega Sloth Revenge taken care of. Solar Flare, shut down electrical devices. Uh, so my electrical devices are down. That is fine. You, uh, finish that cooler building. I'm going to put in a couple of cooler buildings here and keep this whole area chill. I want to keep my pemmican safe because I've just realized it will go off in about a year if I leave it in here and do nothing else with it. Uh, and Kai, you need to be working on those traps. You know what, I might get a few more people working on construction just so they can get those traps back up and running. I don't want to be, uh, 
low on traps for too long. Oh, Mega Sloth Revenge again. I keep forgetting that I signed him out to that. Ooh, and I forgot to collect this medicine. And that's going to deteriorate. Um, someone's going to have to go out and get that. Okay, after I deal with the Mega Sloth. Turns out the Mega Sloth never made it in uh, in range. Diggity just held his ground and took it out. Anyway, I'll get uh, Diggity here to pick up this medicine. Hopefully he can bring it back to base now. Oh, pick up both of them. Can't you hold both at the same time? No? How about now? Close enough? Fine, I'll have to send someone else out to get it. Yeah, that would be a waste of medicine if I let that go. Next up from Randy is a quick party. Everyone gets to play along. Uh, everyone will get some recreation. Uh, even Anita's going to show up? Isn't she? Don't you have an infection? You know what? Oh, immunity developed. You'll be fine. Well, that should cheer everyone up and give them a little bit of a happiness bonus for a while. I can... I'm happy with that. Especially since the psychic soothe is ending. Anyway, let's skip this forward some more. Uh, all the heel root is almost planted. All the hay grass is in. We'll see how that hay grass works out. I'm really curious. Randy has now so fit to gift us with mad rats. Some sort of psychic ways to set over landscapes. Your colonists are okay, but it seems many of the rats in the area have been driven insane. Okay, uh, let's have a quick look at the map. Oh, great, there's lots of rats, isn't there? You can see all the red dots on the map there, so there's even a couple more over here. Yeah, there's going to be rats all over the place. You know what, keep my colonists inside. Let them either hit the traps or attack some other animals and get killed. I'd rather my... Colonists didn't get any problems. Uh, Where's that coming from? <laughs> oh. Kai, I think, just shot one. Grasshopper, what are you doing? Oh, I've got you assigned to run. Yeah, we're going to put you on attack. Everyone should be on attack by now. <laughs> Great, you know, Kai, maybe you should uh, shoot at the wrath that's running by you. I prefer you were not shooting at my people. <laughs> Diggity is also... Nope, you should also be on attack. Perfect. <laughs> I want to make sure everyone is actually set to attack now that I think about it. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, nope, not white. White is not, so we'll stick you on attack as well. That should take care of any rat problems we have. Hmm, that was relatively painless. And what is that? Oh, that's a fire. Never mind, that's okay. Oh, and we've got an animal down in the bottom right that's a predator, so what is that? That would be... A red fox? Can't really hurt. Red foxes and predators and things like that will attack your babies, so your baby calves and stuff like that, so it's a good idea usually to take out the, any predators you see lying around the map. Next up from Randy, we've got cargo pods. Yeah. Always nice of Randy to send us stuff, and we have elephant leather. You know what, we'll add that to the storage room. Which reminds me, I need to assign someone, and dedicate someone just to making coats. It's time we made some money. Enough of this. Uh, I think we've got all our crops planted. We've got everything we should need, assuming nothing horrible goes wrong. Time to start specializing people in making money so we can buy more artificial limbs for everyone. Oh, quick. Uh, yeah, someone wants to come. Four archers, four heavy archers, and seven hunters. Yeah, I, I don't want them. Yeah, screams in panic. That's fine. I really love this map mod. Just being able to see all those glorious fires all over the place. Kind of nice. Well, okay, the, the rains have started now and they've all got put, net, put out. But that does look kind of glorious up on the map. Uh, psychic drone, medium, male. Uh, okay, that's going to cause problems for our male survivors. That means Grasshopper and White, our two newest ones, are going to have a bad, bad set of days. Oh, well. Um, hmm. Oh, and I've also started making some wooden statues. They're not great, but they should be able to at least get me some of these rooms up to levels where everyone gets a little bit of a bonus. So is it White and Grasshopper? Grasshopper is an ascetic, so we don't need to give them any good stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll give everyone a bit of a statue. Maybe it'll improve everyone's mood. Um, yeah, while that's all going on, though, I also want to get some more coats made. I've got way too much material from the animals built up, and I may have accidentally forgot to put a freeze on how much meat got made, so... Yeah, I butchered way too much meat. I now have absolutely ridiculous amounts of it. But it's fine. Once we get some more potatoes in, we can turn that all into pemmican, of which we've got two and a half thousand pemmican. I'm, I'm worried about the next raid. There hasn't been a raid in a while, and I'm worried that it's going to be very large. Next up from Randy, incapacitated refugee quest. We don't care. Though on the bright side, that does remind me there was that other quest I wanted to send Anita on. So I think Anita's time to stop, cut research, and send her off onto the world map. And if I recall, it was down here somewhere? Yeah, Outpost AI Persona Core. I hope that's sellable for a decent amount of money. Let's form a caravan and send Anita on her way. Wow. 
she's valued at 6,900. Well, I suppose those architect legs are kind of expensive. Uh, we'll just uh, load her up with some food and send her on her way. We load her up with some food, a few meals, uh, psychic shot blankets, some medicine and a bedroll and send her on her way. Uh, that should... There's five people there, so... Yeah, I'm just going to snipe and run. That's pretty much all I can do. I'm taking the shock lance just in case things get bad. Or if there's someone there that might be worth recruiting. I do have a spare bedroom now, don't I? Yeah, we'll skip this forward a bit anyway. And Anita has arrived. Let's see what's going on at this outpost. Now, what was there? Five people? Whoa. Okay, is this some sort of mountain outpost? Ah, crud. Well, there's no turrets according to what was told. So how do I get them out? Well, as if I start shooting... Oh, what are you doing equip... <laughs> I left her equipped with those. That's, uh... That was sloppy. Let's, uh, drop the sniper rifle. Equip that up. Yep, uh, let's, uh, pick up the Molotovs. Well, I'm sure we'll find a use for those later. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dance over here a little bit. We're going to stay along the edge of the map, and we're going to shoot those solar panel and see what it does to our enemies. Let me get a little bit closer. And they probably won't like it. Let's see if they come out to party. Oh, there's two of them over there. Right, let's see if there's anyone worth capturing. None of them really take my fancy. I mean, they're a lot better than most of the ones that you get attacked by, but they, the nervous kinds of annoys me, though. Once I transhumanize them a bit, that would probably be taken care of. Sickly would prefer not to have them, even though they've got some good stats. Brody... Quite good, underground or anesthetic, but yeah, no good shooting on them. Uh, so we'll just, uh, we'll get Anita over here to, oh Jesus, there's not a lot of room on this map, is there? We may get trapped in. Maybe have to do some ring around the rosaries, but if we get in a good shot or two, we should be able to at least bleed a couple of them dry. Go on, take the shot, take the shot. Nope. Damn it. They got out of range, or they got a uh, behind cover. Yeah, I think when I shot the solar panels, it triggered them, but now that uh, the solar panels have gone back, well, they're in it. Damn it. Oh, okay, well, Willem's come back out. That's good. Nope. A complete whiff. They're armed with a shotgun. You're getting off one more shot any time, then you're running. Perfect. What has that one looking on health wise? No immediate danger. Right lung. Uh -huh. Let's do some ring around the rosy, shall we? Another one tagged. Let's run back a bit more. Ooh. There's way too many of them. Ooh, a grenadier. Oh, I hate you guys. Tagged. Eh, let's keep moving. The grenadier is not too big of a deal, to be honest. Uh, they'll shoot, but they'll miss because I can run faster than them. That submachine gun, though, I don't want to get too close to. That one has an enormous rate of fire, and that could do quite a bit of damage if I'm not careful. Ooh, and I'm pretty much... Oh, no, I can run all the way around the back. I was worried that I was going to be trapped in here. All right, I'll just uh, skip this forward, but this is mostly just going to be me running and gunning. If anything happens I'll... that's interesting, I'll cut back in. One interesting thing, I was noticing that Robert here has quite a bit of pep in his step. Turns out he's high on go juice. That's why he's running so fast. Hmm... That means I'm probably going to want to put another bullet in them to slow them down. Sooner rather than later would probably be a good choice. So, yeah, let's let's target them. If I can slow them down, that means that no one's going to catch up with me. Oh, I think that was the deflection, was it? Let's see their health. Oh my god, that literally bounced off them. What are they even equipped with? Bird skin. Oh, they do have a flak vest. Ooh, yeah. Some of them are actually heavily armored. Maybe I should have prepared better for this. I did send Anita one versus five. Uh, maybe not my brightest move, but mm, that's, the, that's the path that I have chosen for her. Wow, that guy is still running pretty fast. You know what? Over here we go. Seriously, that guy runs like ridiculously quickly. Oh, he stopped. Perfect. Another hit. Please tell me that at least slowed him down a bit. Left arm, right leg, right tibia. Yeah, he, they're they're down to not going to be much of a problem anymore. They won't be able to catch up. So yeah, I'll just uh, skip this forward some more. This is turned into turning into a rather risky run around the rosy. Anita is close to breaking, 
Well, okay, she could break at any moment. I've injured quite a few of them, but none of them have actually went down yet. Oh, Bulgic is turning around. That could be a problem. Maybe it's time to take out one of them here. That Roberts guy is just taking a pounding. Look at that. The amount of bullets I put in that guy. Still going. Nice try, but you missed me. Jesus. Okay, so this is a horrific mess right now. I have to skip up around the top. Yeah, this is probably the most stupid, dangerous plan I've ever done. Oh well. Two of my enemies have collapsed. That leaves one. I just have to get one more. So Vasquez, let's see if you can take some hits. Complete whiff. Time to run. Yeah, that guy's got a shotgun. I'm not getting in close with that one. Run! Use those legs. Uh, also, Anita's running out of health as well. She's got about 14 hours before she collapses. However, Bulger here is going to collapse. Or was it Williams? Yeah, he'll collapse in nine. So let's see if we can survive this stupid position I put Anita in. I should have sent her with better weaponry and more backup. And oh, and body armor. Yeah, she took off the flak jacket at some point because it went below 51%. Yep. All stupid things on my part. Also, I should have sent her with a bunch of uh, wake-up drugs and some other things to keep her happy. Okay, a headshot? Literally a headshot. Now, what does it say it under their health bio? Yeah, head. Gunshot. Wow. Okay, they have one hit point left in the head and they're still going. That's... Impressive. Uh, let's just keep going. One more. All we gotta do is put one more in Vasquez and they should drop. You know, let's have a quick stop and a shoot. Maybe we can kill Vasquez and be done with this. One more hit. Come on. Uh, and he is not having a good day. Also, she's close to breaking. Jesus. Okay. Time to leave. Too close to a shotgun. <laughs> We just need to get one more. So they appear to have broken, which is great. We're going to uh, stop Anita and we're going to have her assigned to mm, take care of herself. First, we might want to put in doctoring. Yeah. Uh, can we do that? Prioritize tending to Anita. Yeah, do some self-tending there. We will need to stop that bleeding right now. Now that Anita is all tended, I've had her strip off the two pawns that were almost unconscious. She's also had some food. She's still not in a very good mood. So I've claimed this doorway. And let's see what they've got in here. Oh, we're going to have to claim that one as well. Uh, let's see what they've got in the base. Hopefully a bed where she can have a quick nap. That would be nice. Claim that also. Oh, look at that. Bedrooms. Perfect. And let's see what else they've got in here. Lots of beds. Lots of poor wooden beds and nothing else. Seriously? That's all you guys have got? You know what I need to take a nap. We are going to claim that bed in the name of Anita, and we'll let you uh, have a sleep in it. If we go, take a nice sleep. You deserve it. We'll let these others uh, die out, and then in the morning we're going to leave after you've had, well, maybe not in the morning. Once your uh, needs for rest have gone up far enough that you're not in serious case of, of coming close to break. Uh, oh, and in the meantime, uh, prisoners are being held. Yeah, there's some prisoner, a VR designer. Yeah, you know what? I don't care. It says here they were formerly part of my faction, but I don't remember having one of them part of my faction, so we're just going to leave them there. Uh, yeah, that was an incredibly dangerous mission. I should not have sent in Anita like that. She could have died. She probably should have, to be honest. That was... Yeah, that was incredibly dangerous. I should have sent her in with an assault rifle as well. I would have led her to do more damage and take out that close combat guy that was rushing her. She could have taken him down with more shots if she had an assault rifle. I should have brought that with me. Yeah, I, you live and you learn. Ooh, and there's a flak vest we can take with us this time around. Let's see your needs. Yeah, she's got enough rest in, she's got some food. Should be good to hit the road. Great thing is, we just hit reform caravan. Yeah, that's all there. And then we can pick up all the stuff that's lying around. We don't even have to... Well, we'll take all that, that, that. That was a bit of a... It's a bit of a tight one, to be honest. Uh, I wanted to take some of the heavier equipment, like the flak vest, with me. Uh, so, yeah, I had to leave a couple of things behind, like the machine pistol. But in general, we came away with some quite decent loot out of this. Uh, let's just choose the route, head back home. That's going to take 1.3 days. We'll accept that. And they can hopefully get some uh, some healing along the way. We've given her plenty of meds anyway, so she should be fine. Whew. Okay, that was fun. Uh, next up. Next up from Randy, we've got a bulk goods trader. Honestly, that is great. That will allow me to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. 
And Anita has just arrived back as well. Good times, good times indeed. I was going to actually, I thought I was going to have to send Anita off on a, another quest to get rid of all of that uh, stuff we've accumulated. Now, at the front door here, I've been making some changes. I've been installing a slate wall. I've been replacing the wood with slate. It's just, I, if a fire breaks out here, it's going to be hugely problematic. That's why I've been putting in all this slate. Uh, eventually, I could probably replace all the rest of it. I've had uh, my pawns just taking care of some side projects. Namely, they're making the dog's body here. If they're not cooking, which currently they're not because there's no more... Uh, there's no more potatoes to, or wild plants they can use to grow anything. Uh, so, yeah, I sort of have to dip into my pemmican supplies. But anyway, they're making coats. Lots and lots of coats, which we're going to sell. We're also making lots of statues. I'm just placing the statues around the bedrooms first, just so everyone gets a little bit of a morale boost for where they're staying. For example, there's a slightly impressive bedroom belonging to Unowned. Yeah, never mind. Unowned has a slightly impressive bedroom. Never mind. Um, so we'll get some trading done here and hopefully we can dump some of the stuff we've accumulated. I believe White is our best trader. So yeah, let's see what they've got down here. The only thing worth buying off them is some cloth. 130 cloth. We're going to use that. Oh, and some beer. Uh, the cloth and the beer. Oh, that reminds me. We need to put the beer somewhere safe so that the other so that our animals can't get out. We're going to have to create a restricted zone so that our, our pets can't get into it. One moment. So I've put together a little stockpile zone here. This is going to be our, uh, well, where we store all the hallucinogenics type stuff and all, all the things that make our, our pawns feel a little bit woozy. Um, and I've also set it so that the animals, where is it? Uh, animals, zones, the pets here. The pets here can't get access to it. You'll see that that area is kind of walled off and they can't see gain access to it and herbivores they well they couldn't access that area anyway so we'll store all our uh, our nice stuff in there so that the no one can accidentally get into it otherwise you're going to end up with dogs that have cirrhosis smoke leaf binge anita okay well she was she was having a bad day because of poor mood final straw unsightly environment jump to location uh that's going to knock you unconscious you do realize that uh who really hates you dogs buddy why don't you Try and arrest her and see what happens. Cannot arrest, no reachable. Oh, yeah, I need to make a prisoner marked area, don't I? So, four prisoners. You. Uh, let's try to arrest Nikita. Anita. Oh, it's broken into a fight. You know what? That's fine. Ah! Damn it. Uh, this was probably not my brightest idea. How's she doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he... Are you lining up your gun? That's not cool, bro. Okay, we'll let you out of there. Whoa. So if I... She's considered uh, an aggressor right now, so he won't do it. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Uh, mm. No. There's no way to arrest her. And... Yeah, let's not fire at will. I think we have to melee her down or wait until she comes out of it. Is that it? One second, let me think. Okay, so... When she resisted arrest, she's effectively become an enemy of the colony. So now what everyone has done is, the moment they see her, they whip out their guns if they're set to aggression, and they're going to shoot her. I have to melee her down now. Ah, uh, damn it. Because if I don't, she's going to get... Whoa! What, what did I just tell you? Stop that. I want you to melee her down. No shooting at our own people. Yeah, we're going to have them melee Anita, and hopefully that will uh, slow her down. Though, oh, thank God she dropped quickly. I really hope we haven't uh, done anything to do permanent damage to her. She's one of our better ones. Yeah, she'll be fine. Left ear destroyed. Oops. Oh, I forgot to point out why I bought the 110 material from the trader, and that was to make the wooden poker table and the marble billiard table. The poker table requires 50 cloth and the billiards table requires 80 cloth. You can't get it just from animal hides, you have to have cloth. So I could have grown the cotton and made a bunch of material, or I could have just bought it. It seems simpler just to buy the materials. Now, I still gotta bear in mind, this is still a temporary base, though I have put an awful lot of effort into this very temporary base, and I'm quite enjoying it. Um, yeah, but next year, once we get into spring, we're gonna take everyone and get out of here. Assuming our pemmican supplies start going up again, I think having... I don't have enough food to feed all six of them. I might want to go out and start harvesting some wild berries just to supplement my food supplies. Now Randy is finally showing his true true love. He sent down a large piece of an ancient ship. Uh, yeah, there, there's going to be a bunch of nasty things inside this ship. Where are they? Uh, oh, it's a ship on the map. What the... Ah, where is this psychic ship? Ah, here we go. 
this is going to be problematic. The moment I ping it, uh, bad things are going to come out of it. So I'm going to need to... Well, is Anita back up and running? Ah, Anita is back up and running. We'll wait until she's finished harvesting the crops. We'll give her a sniper rifle and we'll send her out to go take care of that problem. Actually, you know what? Might be time to do it right now. Yeah, what's her mood like? Yeah, she'll be grand. Uh, has she taken any of the... Mm, no, some of my people were still taking some of these drugs, so I've restricted them from taking any of those. Yeah, I think it's time to go out here, ping this, and then hopefully get them to come in this route. In case we're going to get all our animals, and all our animals are going to go to the safe zone. Where is it? Mm. Nope. Here we are. Animal safe zone. All of you in here. Uh, Anita, I'm going to want you to pick up your sniper rifle because I believe you let that go a while back. Uh, yeah, after you got into that fight. No, no, no judgment. But sniper rifle acquired. Let's go out and uh, let's go pick a fight. Right. So, everyone else is going to stay indoors except for Anita. Yeah, a little bit more. Perfect. Now, these things are fast, so we're going to want to get off one shot. Actually, they're not fast. It's another one of these goddamn centipedes. What's he armed with? This is an inferno cannon. Hmm. That should be easier. That means I can stay further to range. What's this thing? A scyther. First of all, this is the close combat ones. If this is the close combat ones, you know what? You can go through the doors. Um. Hmm. One quick shot. Yeah, fine by me. I'll have you run over here. Maybe grab off another shot before you uh, head back. Please tell me no one else is going in here. Oh. Yeah, no. Everyone's in. Everyone's in. That's not mine. Perfect. Seriously, you can't even annoy that thing any more than that? You know what? Like, like just, just go away. Why can you not go in that door? What is wrong with that door? Why does no one want to go in that door? You know what? Never mind. So Anita's inside, that means everyone should go around the front. Assuming they all go around the front, this should be fairly handy. Oh. No, they're not going around the front, are they? They're going back? Oh, fine. You know what? You go here. You're going to... You can't walk through that door. Ah! That thing's in the way. So that door has been completely useless this entire time. Never mind. All right, I'll send uh, I'll send Anita back out to make a, a nuisance of herself and maybe convince them that they should come over and attack us. That's one good hit on the Scyther. It's... Still, though, just ignoring the gunshot that it just got in the back of the face. Yeah, it's two gunshots in the back of the face. Well, one uh, one in the thorax, one in the left blade. Uh, Anita, just uh, let's get out of here. Let's see if it decides to follow us. Okay, are you going to take the bait? Yes, you are. You're going to go around the front. Where's the other one? Ah, the other one's also going to take the bait. Perfect. Now let's make sure no one tries to go out the door. No one. All stay inside. Oh, no you don't, Kai. Kai's staying right there. Where are you staying, Kai? Right there, buddy. Uh, the other one has went straight through the traps. That's fine. Perfect. This seems like a very easy way to win this. Wait, it stopped. It stopped and it's turning around. Why did it stop and why is it turning around? Did someone open a door somewhere that they shouldn't have? No, all the doors are closed. I think it's just lost interest. Um, Anita, I'm going to have to get you to come... Ooh, you know what? We'll get you to go down there and we'll shift-click you around. We're going to have to get you to convince this thing that it needs to come around and have a chat with us. Come on. Come on, little buddy. No, no. You don't, want to, you don't want to come with us? We'll shoot you a few more times. Eventually we'll convince you. So, we have managed to get its attention. Let's uh, maybe not get in range of its Inferno Cannon for a bit. And uh, send a few more pot shots at its direction. <laughs> we'll draw it in here once it's go through all the wooden traps. That should be the end of that. Come on, keep convincing it it wants to come this direction. Oh, that's close enough. That Inferno Cannon has quite a decent range, I didn't realize. Yep. Why would you... You know what, we're going to tell you to go there. Yep, that's good you dodged that one. Now go there. Then go there. Yay! And let's see if the thing follows us. Good stuff, good stuff. And I'm glad, I'm so glad we replaced those walls with steel. Oh, and Kai, you can go back to work now. You can probably replace those. Oh, come on. You're, you're going to go take care of the fire? No, nope. you know what? We'll, we'll leave you to... Ah! Well, White, it was nice to know you, but... Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to be you. 
Good dodge, buddy. Good dodge. Anyone else? You know what? We're going to get everyone else on, uh, on uh, drafted. Just the whole lot of you, you're all getting drafted. I don't care. I'm having no more of you running out trying to put out fires or do something stupid. Ah. Uh, everyone good? Fine. Now, let's wait until... Kai. Nope. Sorry, wrong one. Oh, seriously? You're going to walk away after that? Fine. Anita is going to convince you that you should come back. To make things simpler, I have told all the other pawns to go off and uh, melee attack the poison ship, or the psychic ship. Oh, oh, nice shot. Didn't realize that you could shoot across that. Right. Where are you going? <laughs> well, it's set fire to some of the traps, and now Anita's on fire and running around like a headless chicken, which is kind of hilarious. Because she has really fast legs. Okay, come on. Would you just stop already? Oh, and they've managed to destroy all of that. Perfect. Let's collect this stuff up and get out of here. Finally, it's going through all the traps. Please tell me they're going to kill it. Wow. That thing is incredibly tough. Hmm. Excellent. Well, in that case, uh, I'm afraid everyone is back to firing line positions. All the lot of yous. And this thing is actually pretty slow, and its weapon range is not the best. Let's see, who's got the best weapon for taking care of this? Minigun, not so good, maybe. Assault rifle, who's got the plasma? Oh, no one has the plasma. Never mind, we'll let Anita do the talking. Anita can shoot from over here. And maybe we can kite them a bit with some of these other pawns. Ouch. Okay, fine, fine. Finally, all done. You know what, everyone? Back to work. Uh, put out the fires. I think that was <laughs> probably about as good as I could hope to get it for today. Oh, you. You're no longer toggled. Everyone can get back to work. Everything can get fixed up. And hopefully I can repair the walls. I lost a lot of traps. So, so long as Randy doesn't send us a raid right this minute, we should be fine for a little bit. We can repair all of this damage up. Oh, most of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everyone go back to construction. Uh, we're going to prioritize construction for three people just to make sure that those traps get replaced in a timely fashion. And I have a decent stockpile of wood to go with it. Anyway, I'll cut this out here today. I think we've did, we've done pretty well. Um, we've survived, which is always the main goal, but uh, I think we've finally got a handle on food and setting up those traps and doing all of that. We even took out a poison ship without everyone getting horribly killed. I think only Anita was the only one to get injured. Well, a few people got some burns, but nothing too major. I think, yeah, I think this all worked out for the best. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my continuing struggles with Rimworld, and uh, good luck.